Over the past two days, we have seen temperatures drop 20 degrees. Monday's high was well into the 60s. Meanwhile, today we're only tracking highs in the mid 40s, which is actually more typical for this point in early December. So winter is certainly here now as we're moving through your Wednesday. We're at 42 right now in Lexington. We're taking a live look downtown from our Kentucky One, how the weather bug camera at the 21C Museum and Hotel. We have a good deal of sunshine here across the bluegrass. Meanwhile, across southeastern Kentucky, Clouds been, have been a little bit pesky throughout the morning hours, and that's keeping your temperatures a bit cooler, as in fact, you're all still in the 30s right now, 34. As we check into Mount Sterling, also for Danville, it's 38 in London. Meanwhile, temperatures elsewhere to the south and east of Lexington, again, are in the mid to even upper 30s at this point. It's 44 in Frankfurt here at lunchtime. And as we continue throughout the afternoon, we'll see temperatures area-wide creeping into the 40s. Mid-40s for those that have seen sunshine so far, today. Meanwhile, the clouds are still relatively thick. You'll settle for the lower 40s come later this afternoon. As we go overnight, skies will continue to clear and will drop back into the 20s. And it's going to be an even colder day tomorrow as we're going to be seeing a reinforcing shot of Arctic air tracking in overnight. So we saw that cool down really moving in quickly out after a cold front passed through yesterday morning. That brought the rain uh, that we saw to start off the day and still on the back side. We are seeing those clouds hanging on across southeastern Kentucky. So it's chilly across the Ohio Valley. Meanwhile, once this, ar this uh, uh, moisture starved Arctic front begins to track through, we'll be seeing more Arctic air starting to filter in overnight. So the rest of the afternoon will feature clearing skies area wide. Then tonight, as that front begins to inch in, late tonight, we'll begin to see more clouds starting to fill in. So your Thursday starts off partly cloudy, but will end once again mostly sunny. And still, that front is not carrying a whole lot of moisture, so we're not going to be seeing much from it. Outside is some added clouds, and then also that big drop in temperature. We'll keep things quiet then into Friday. So the, really the big story over the next couple of days is going to be that wintertime feel that be seeing temperatures starting tomorrow are only going to be in the 30s. 37 for a high for your Thursday will only settle for about freezing into Friday and Saturday before temperatures begin to climb back closer to normal Monday of next week. But still, it is going to feel very winter like for an extended period of time. And along with the cold air, we're also tracking the potential for our first measurable snowfall of the season. That could come Friday night into Saturday as a clipper system, which is typically quick hitting and doesn't produce rather much snow, is going to be tracking through the area still a little too early to say how much snow we could be seeing but just given the characteristics of that storm system we're not going to be seeing a whole lot from it into the weekend so today we're tracking a brisk afternoon with highs in the 40s under sunny to partly cloudy skies tonight we're down into the mid 20s we'll only settle for the mid 30s for a high as skies will remain partly to mostly cloudy through the rest of the week then we're tracking scattered snow showers into saturday and again could produce some minor accumulations we're quieter into sunday Monday, as temperatures begin to rise back closer to the mid 40s Monday, but we are tracking another chance for snow come next Tuesday.